Hi there. My name is Sam Bellegor and in this video I'll talk about the diatonic scales of a D minor. It's uh, I'll play a 2-5-1 in D minor, an E half diminished A7 flat 9 and a D minor. <laughs> and I will mostly talk about the seventh chords of the mentioned chords so the E half diminished, the A7 flat 9 and the D minor E half diminished, I play the F major scale from an E sounds like this on the A7, I'll play A7 flat 9 that's the D harmonic minor scale but from an A off and on the D, uh, 6, D7, D major 7, I'll play the D melodic minor scale. On each chord you can play different 4 note chords. Um, that means if I play the E half diminished, which is my first chord, uh, to the 11th, sound like this. Um, I find different 7th chords in that one. Um, the A7 I'll play to the flat 9. And the D minor 6 I'll play to the 9. First chord, the E half diminished, I can play to the 11th and then I find three different chords in there. So the E half diminished um, 7 is like E, G, B flat, D, F, A. Consists, of course, of the E half diminished chord, the E, G, B flat, D. And see, my fingers follows everything I say also. So E, G, B flat, D. Sounds like this. That was on the root. On the third of the E half diminished, the G, you have a G minor chord, G minor 7. Second, uh, four note chord, seventh chord, and on the fifth of the E half diminished, the B flat, we have B flat major chord. B flat D F A. That's the three chords I'll work with on uh, this video from the E half diminished. On the A7 chord, I have two different chords I'll work with. Uh, first, I'll just play the A7 chord. The A, C sharp, E, G, B flat. The first seventh chord is the A7, plain A7. A, C sharp, E, G. Further, uh, on the third of the A7 chord, the C sharp, I have a C sharp diminished chord. So C sharp, E, G, B flat. Sound like this C sharp, E, G, B flat. I'll go on to the D minor chord, the D minor 6 chord, uh, or the D minor major 7 chord. In the D minor chord, Find the notes D, F, A, C sharp, E. I call it D minor 6, so you'll also have a B in there. But I'll get back to that right now. So um, I play the D minor 9, D minor major 9. The D 
minor major 9 because of the C sharp. Um, so it gives this augmented sound F A sharp A C sharp. That sounds great, I think. Uh, in this chord, it sounds a little bit weird, but I'll work with the D minor 6. It sounds like this. <laughs> in the scale, um, so the 6 instead of the major 7, so after this D, F, A, B. Uh, further you can play on the D, the root, uh, D, F, A, C sharp. It's a little bit different than the D major, uh, D minor 6. Further on the third of the D minor, you have an F augmented major seven. Wonderful sound that one. These are the chords I'll work with. The seventh chords I'll work with uh, in this video. You just heard that I played the course up and down a little bit without time, so I played rubato. Um, if you put them into a little exercise with timing, uh, you will also exercise the timing and the course in one go. Uh, I can recommend that very much. Of course, the rubato thing is good to learn, just get the notes in your fingers. This one also gets the timing in your fingers. So I'll start with a little run, E half diminished, A7 flat 9, D minus 6, D minus 6. One, two, three, four. <coughs> If you can play something up, you can also play down. Um, same exercise, playing the chords down. One, two, three, four. E half diminished, A7 flat 9, D minus 6. 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> Some other options of the course I just explained. Um, sounds like this one, two, three, four. <laughs> I put 
the brakes in there to make it a little bit challenging with the rhythm so you get used to start a line on the two instead of always starting on the one. Um, next exercise I'll play is um, basically, the, basically the same chords but without a break in it. So get a continuous eight note line. One, two, one, two, three. Of course you can repeat these exercises as much as you want. Um, and again, goes up, it's coming down. One, two, and one, two, three. The next exercise is from the third off. Now I play from the root or from the seventh degree. So um, this one is going up from the third degree. One, two, three. And of course, comes up, goes down. One, two, three. Examples of two five one lines uh, on the E half diminished A seven and the D minor. Um, I'll play these now. Explain what it is. One two three. <laughs> That B flat major chord, B flat D F A, going down the scale. Then I'm playing a, still on the E half diminished over the A7. I'm playing a surrounding of the E from the D, running up chromatic scale F G, hitting the E, going down that E uh, diminished chord, uh, the A7 diminished chord, E C sharp B flat G, ending on an A on the D minor chord, A B, so the uh, D minor 6, A, B, E, F, running up the chord, D, F, A, B, ending on the D, E, C sharp, A, B. So it's all like D minor major, D minor 6 scale. <laughs> Surrounding the F of a G minor arpeggio, G minor 7 arpeggio, F, D, B flat, G, hitting an A on the A7, going down with a little bebop lick, A, G sharp, G, F, E, uh, jumping to the A and hitting that arpeggio, the A7 flat 9, up uh, to the flat 9 on the B flat, uh, on the D minor, and then I'm uh, resolving to the A, playing the A, F, C sharp. Um, going on to the uh, F augmented major 7 chord, the E C sharp A F, and then I'm ending on D minor 6, B A F E. <laughs> G 
minus right. Then I'm going into a standard G minor B public uh, D F sharp D F, which I'm resolving in the bar of the A7, going up and G minor chord again with a triplet, resolving to that E of the A7, going down that scale, going down the um, diminished chord. So E D C sharp B flat G E, resolving on the D minor chord to the F, going up that minor major. Uh, chord F A B C sharp E jumping to the high A going down that chord again uh, A F C sharp B and ending on the uh, D minor major 9 E C sharp A F and ending on the 6 <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my videos. You can subscribe to my channel if you like. Um, then you receive all updates directly. Um, all the lessons are tr transcribed on my website. Um, you can follow the link here and then you get to the transcription of the lesson. That means you have all the examples. You can download these and also all the text that I've said, all the explanations, you can see in text on my website. Further, I wish you good luck practicing and have fun.